Saturday evening. What time is it? It's almost seven o'clock and I have left the house. Um, really had a good day, but like I would just like an hour to myself. <laughs> um, I fed everybody. Josh is going to give the boys a bath. Um, I just didn't want what we made. Uh, what did I cook? I cooked pork loin, pork, pork sort, <laughs> pork sirloin strips with potatoes and bell peppers and green beans. Did that with like a Betty Crocker sheet pan thing that already had the seasoning and like a glaze that you drizzle over top of it afterwards. I just didn't want it. Like, and on top of that, I vacuum sealed a bunch of meat that I bought on sale at Kroger last week when we went to the grocery store. So, which was Saturday. So I vacuum sealed all that. Uh, organized all the homeschool papers from this week, like put them in, graded them and all that, and got everything sorted. Paid bills. I don't know. I just did a, I did a bunch of stuff at my desk and I couldn't even, I can't even remember what all stuff I did at my desk. My desk is a mess. I need to clean that so badly. I want to do my nails and I just haven't had time. I want to put some more tinsel in my hair. I haven't had time for that. We have homeschool group tomorrow. I still haven't packed lunches. groceries then we're going to a football game tomorrow night and like I'm just so tired and I told Josh I was like I want tacos so I'm going to take an hour hour and a half for myself and I am going to go get me some tacos I'm going to sit in the parking lot eat my tacos and listen to Lisa Harper podcast that is my plans and I think they sound amazing I am so hungry, and just looking at that pork and green beans, and it actually worked out well because there was enough leftovers that I made one box container to put in the freezer for Josh for next week, and I had one, another one that he can eat Saturday night when I'm gone because I'm going to a church event that night. So, it worked out great. So, he has food for work and food for Saturday. Because tomorrow, we might eat out before the football game. I'm not sure what we're going to do. So, anyway. And then Sunday, we have church. And that night, we have a small group. So, like, it's just busy. busy. We're in, it's one of those months. September, October, November are just busy, 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 busy. Um, and a lot of times December unless the weather's bad. So, I'm just going to take an hour or so. Plus, when I get back, I told him I cut his hair. So, that's going to be hard on my back. So, <laughs> I took ibuprofen before I left. And I have my heat, my seat heater on. So that after I eat, I'll go home and cut his hair. He's been begging for me to cut his hair. So, I will do that. Oh, like, I kind of hate that Taco Bell is so far away, but I do not want Wendy's or Subway. That's literally the only two fast food restaurants we have in this area. I think, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was 2 p.m. Yeah, that place is closed. So, can't go there. It's not a fast food, it's like a little deli, but they close it too. Um, so, I'm going to Taco Bell. I hope the line's not a million miles long. Which, if it is, that'll give me time to text Josh and see if he wants anything. Um, I'll probably just get him a Nashville hot sandwich. 
or some, I guess some steak quesadillas. That's what I'll do. I'll take him some steak quesadillas home because he hasn't had those in a long time. Um, but yeah, it's just been so busy and I'm so tired. Like my body's tired. Like I was cooking and it's just like my arms are tired. I told Josh like, I hope I'm not getting sick. And then like I said, we've got homeschool group tomorrow and I actually will be like teaching one of the classes for the kids. Like we're, we're going to split the little kids up into three groups and rotate them through three different classrooms. So like I have one of the classrooms for the groups, um, which is fine. I've already got stuff prepared and in my bag for that. I just got to do their stinking lunch. It's been a busy week. We were supposed to have soccer tonight, and we just didn't go. It was, we were outside, it was 4 o'clock. If we were going to go, I'd have to take them in immediately and get them dressed and stuff. And, like, they've been wanting to go in the playground all week, and we've just been so busy. I haven't done it, and Josh was home, and I was mowing, and he was cleaning under the carport, which is right next to the playground. And I told him, I was like, hey, you want to go soccer or stay here and play? And they both said they just want to stay and play. And I was like, cool. So then they stayed outside and played, and Josh worked um, on the playground and on the carport some more. And I went inside, made them dinner, and put up all that meat and stuff. And I meant to empty the dishwasher, and I totally forgot. We just didn't go to soccer tonight, so I need to make sure I wash their soccer stuff because... They only play soccer for an hour twice during the week, and I've only got one pair of socks for both of them. Like, they each have their own pair. <laughs> Not one pair of socks they share. I have one pair of socks per kid, and so I just let them wear it during the week, and I'll wash them all weekend. So, I need to make sure I get their soccer stuff and wash it for next week because they have a group game where they're going to put the two age groups together, the littles and the bigs, mix them up and let them play, which is good because we have a lot of friends on the younger team um, from church. So that would be good to see all of them. So we're just going to combine everybody. But I'm so tired, you guys. I don't, I don't know if my vitamin D is low again or my iron or what. I'm also ticked because he's working on it right now. Bless him. He has tried. Every time he's home, he's trying to work on it. My ice machine has stopped working. And I am not drinking enough water because I have to have ice. I have to have it ice cold. Even when I put it in the fridge and let it sit in the fridge to get cold, it's still not cold enough. I have to have ice. It has to be ice cold. Like, I'm not getting enough water. Even when I, like, pull my smart waters out after they've sat in the fridge for days, I still open them up and put ice cubes in it. Like, I can't handle it. I'm not drinking enough water. Ever since my ice machine stopped working, I have not gotten enough water. And I know that. So, it's probably another reason why I'm tired and I'm getting all these dry patches on my forehead. So, I pray, oh, I need my ice machine fixed, please. But I'm excited for our group, our small group coming up on Sunday. Because I'm leading one on starting next Saturday. But the one on Sunday is for married couples. And I'm really excited for that. I think it's going to be good. I think there was only three or four couples signed up. Which is fine with me because, like, it's a small group. So we can all, you know, talk and discuss. Which my group is kind of small. It's only six people. But, again, I'm fine with that because, like, we can really get into more deep conversation. Which I hope everybody comes because it's only six people. <laughs> but anyways, I'm so excited to get my tacos. I have been wanting, I don't know why, I just, I've wanted tacos. The worst part is though, like, I, sh I should have brought a bowl and like crunched them all up into a bowl because they're hard to eat. They just fall apart, but they're so good. I get the Doritos Locos Tacos Supreme with extra sour cream. It just, it hits different. It hits different. I don't know why. I've been craving it. And like I said, I just looked at that pork. I just didn't want it. And I don't want McDonald's. I don't want Kentucky Fried Chicken, I don't think. I think I want... So, anyway, 
what was the point of all that? I have no idea. It's a car chat. We haven't done a car chat in a long time, so I'm about to get these tacos and listen to a podcast. It's finally time. I am going to organize this closet. It has been on my to-do list for literally a month. I mean, the bottom of this is just ridiculous. I have got to pull all of the stuff out of the bottom, organize it, get it somewhere. We can, we just cannot deal with this closet any longer. Okay, so I did get the bottom half done. Super proud of that. Got my shoes in here. I've actually got space now, um, and I can see everything. And now I have this open area where my shoes were that I can store stuff. And honestly, just even this little bit of progress has made me so happy to have my shoes out of the way. And now I've gotten through all of my clothes. I took out all the clothes I did haven't been wearing, put them in a bag, and I also organized with like my long sleeve stuff, my flannels, my dresses. Um, just have it a little bit more organized. I've still got more clothes downstairs that I need to hang up, but this is honestly so much better. It just makes my heart feel happy, and I feel like I finally accomplished something. And now, really, the goal is to keep it this way, you know, long term.
Go into co go to college, go into the workforce, or go into the military. Really? Mm -hmm. How many have went in the military? Uh, two brothers. I have yes. two. My two Filipino brothers, uh, each enlisted and served eight, eight years in the United States Marine Corps. Yay. Wow. Yes, I saw a Marine hat. Okay. So thank you for your service. Yes, Where absolutely. And then her father founded uh, a little basketball group called the Orlando Magic. Woo!